So a very, very good evening to all of you. The ones who have joined in here and the ones who would listen to this call later. And even the ones who will, you know, join in, you know, a few minutes after the call. Yeah. So just giving you a little brief introduction of who I am. That is, I am Malvika and I'm Malvika Kapoor from this beautiful city of Chandigarh. And I am a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness and so lucky to be here with each one of you. And actually, uh, all of you must be thinking that women, a Women's Day is on the 8th of March, as all of us know. But, you know, I thought of popping in before the 8th of March, that is today, as, you know, I'm flying to Rome for the certification tomorrow. And I thought, you know, God knows what is the Wi-Fi availability at the, uh, there and how am I going to connect people. In any which way, we never have to bother what will happen. All of you on uh, a mute. Thank you so much. So, um, actually, the name of the call that has come to me was celebrating the womanhood in you. And uh, some of us have been lucky, Festival. have been huh? celebrated. Uh, uh, are all of us on mute here, please? Yeah, thank you. So I was just wondering that all of us have not been as lucky as the other few who have been celebrated as a girl child when they were gifted to their families. But few of us have been that lucky that, you know, we were celebrated as a child and we picked up that positivity as an adult and now as a mother to children or whoever, whatever relationship that we are enjoying or a bundle of relationships that we are having around us that we are instilling all the joys into. So my uh, question was that, is it not possible that each one of us here who have not been celebrated and we have gathered somewhere that the pattern of undermining and undervaluing ourselves and that is what we are carrying forward into adulthood. What would it take for us to de-pattern ourselves and never get to choose to undermine and undervalue whoever we are today with our curves and curves and everything that brings up for you. Would you not like to let all of us go free? Right and wrong, good and bad, rock and pod, online shots, toys and beyonds. We will be using the Access Consciousness tools here. And all of us, whoever are here on call, are actually from Access Consciousness. So probably, you know, you do not need any further introduction to what is good and bad, right and wrong. It is actually still, uh, you know, putting more clarity into that, that that is a clearing statement that we use as a magic wand to clear off all the energies that are not creating greater for us. And this is such a magical line, which when we use with the energy required, it dissipates and it deletes all the crap that is hovering in our mind 
and that is hovering in our bodies and showing up as trauma, drama, disease, or whatever, which are coming up as symptoms. So, um, you know, I am here, it's not going to be a one way call. So I would love uh, you to, you know, participate and, you know, put in your questions if you desire to, and actually would love to have all the questions from the other end. So firstly, talking about, firstly, talking about undermining and undervaluing yourself. Hello. So how many times and in how many places have you undervalued yourself and have never gathered the courage of being who you truly are as a woman, as the one you know, in Hindi, we call it Janani, and that is the one who has given birth to creation. And everything that does not allow you to even permit you, permit you to be willing to actually uh, know who you are, to actually be the brilliance of who you are, and to actually create from the energy that is required, desired, and you are capacitated with. So would you like to undo all, all that is not creating for you and that is always leading you to undermining you, always being the a doormat for people because I've seen that uh, you know we as females it is so easy for us to let go of things and think that you know I am doing the desired thing for I'm a mother you know I can I am capacitated to let go of yeah, anything which is constricting in my world and which is not helping me be that brilliance that I'm here with. Yeah, so uh, do you ever face a problem that where you have undermined yourself and not created as you desire to in your families, with your children, with your spouses, with your in-laws, with your parents, where you thought that probably this pattern of uh, not showing up in the brilliance of who you are is actually the way of you know, taking you forward. Yes, Lisha, Divya, Rinku, Sunita. Yeah. Will any one of you put in anything here? Would you like to put in anything here? Yeah. I will. Yeah. Hi, Rinku. Hi. Yeah. So, what I'm just kind of going through, I can say at this time or experiencing in my life is that mm -hmm. there's a lot of places as a child, mm -hmm. uh, you know how you're in constant comparison yeah. and positive, negative both. Yeah. And negative, you always bring to light and you kind of get past because that kind of uh, whatever, it's, it's just the way it's been for me. Mm -hmm. But sometimes even your positive qualities, they were so highlighted. Mm -hmm that somewhere I feel like I'm trapped okay. and I've, I've trapped myself in those qualities. Like, you know how you just have to be that, like you're very mature. Okay. Somebody said that and you live that epitome of being a mature person all your life. Yeah. And I don't know why it's been coming back to me in the last few days that that's also restricting. Yeah. And you know how no matter what you do, you're either judged this way or that way. So even the word, like for me, the word mature really sticks out because I was always like, bohat samartar, bohat mature. Mm. I don't know if I'm mimicking somebody. I don't know what I'm doing, but this has to go. Mm. So good that at least, uh, you know, ident you've identified that that, is, that has been, is that a projection on you? You know? Is that, you know, has 
have your parents you know projected that on you and judged you for you being so mature that you know you do not allow yourself to be that bubbly girl that you truly are yeah in some times yep yeah and everything that does not allow you to perceive no be receive who you truly are as mm -hmm. you know rinku as Rink rinku is just a name in this body yeah <laughs> So yeah. would you now like to let all of that go, please? Yes, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, back and forward, online shots, questions, ones. I think that you know wherever that we have been projected, or we have been judged for a positive or negative thing, we are actually trapped in that jail that we always have to behave that ways because. we have bought those lies of projection that have been put on to us and that weight of that projection does not let us be weightless and just be whoever we are good bad ugly who the hell is going to bother yeah. isn't it because sometimes i think that the lies that we buy and we keep living as true those lies we you know put them life by living through them and somehow we do not know how to maneuver ourselves beyond those lies so i really get that the first thing probably is that till the time i do not identify that there is a lie attached i you know you can be bubbly you can be mature you can be a concoction of things isn't it but we don't always have to be mature in in ev any given stance yeah so everywhere that you are not in allowance of uh whatever you desire to do and wherever you do not you know permit yourself to just be as vulnerable as as stupid as obnoxious as bitchy as horrendous or whatever adjectives that you desire to give yourself yeah would you now like to let go of those jails and what are actually jails what do they talk about j a i l that is talking about you know the judgments the agendas the lies and the inventions yeah and those what are those inventions that invention it could be that you know i am mature yeah i am mature so i do not allow myself to act stupidly whatever the age might be whatever the age might be what stops us from dropping our barriers what stops us from you know dropping that facade of not being as mature you know and uh, coping up with the the benchmark that has been set for you for all lifetimes to come is now the time to let that go please in everything that does not allow you would you not like to let that go please right or wrong good and bad back and god all nine shots boys and beyonds so everywhere that you have not allowed yourself to be that spark yeah that would enlighten a room a home a city a country a planet this beautiful planet that we are here on for all eternity with the brilliance that you truly be would you now like to let all of that go please right and wrong good and bad back and forth online shots spies and beyonds rinku am i good with it or was there something more to your question no this is good thank you so much thank you so much for the question and there is somebody in the chat and um divya says Uh, i feel i myself people close to me will fool me as done earlier so you mean to say if you are close to yourself then people will fool you am i am i good with the question 
Yes, Divya, if you could unmute yourself and be here for these five minutes would be really good. Yeah. Yeah. G. So I think you found myself like what truly I am. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I was fooled or hurt by the people, uh, mm -hmm. this will happen again. So I really cannot be myself. Okay, so what is it that people judge you uh, for whatever you do or whatever you be? Is that so? That is what you mean? Uh, judgment. judgment also plus uh, take benefit also. So they take benefit, but do you think that people can use you or do you allow them to be used? Yeah, I'm only I allow them. Yeah, so everywhere that you allow people, uh, see, anything which I'm not, if suppose you, if your point of view tells you that, you know, yes, if I'm like this, people use me, then obviously, you know, you have to delete that point of view, which is creating that, isn't it? Because what are people around you mirroring? They are mirroring you. They are mirroring your point of view. So everywhere that you have that point of view that, you know, if I am being myself, people fool me and you know they they actually take me for granted they use me and you know i have this pattern so would you like to you know destroy and uncreate that pattern which is always yes. keeping you there yes, yeah definitely. and what if you could you know do that interesting point of view i have this point of view that i love to undermine myself yeah and everything would you not like to let that go, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pod, online shots, boys and beyonds. Because somewhere, see, you are not congruent to whatever you are asking from the world to behave with you. Yeah. So when you are not congruent to that energy, uh, people will always keep using you. They will always keep abusing you. Why? Because somewhere even you think that you are not what they are desiring you to be. Is that not? Mm. Yeah. And we can never... What, clear, what clearance can I use uh, to uh, overcome no, so that? That is what I'm saying. No, the first, first uh, thing which you have to use it Every time this thought comes to you, interesting point of view, I have this point of view that I do not love myself enough. Interesting point of view that I have this point of view that people use me. Interesting point of view that I have this point of view that if I be myself, people fool me. Interesting point of view that I have this point of view that if I be me, that I am not acceptable in the universe outside. It could be family, friends, or whoever. And everything that brings up for you, we do not like to let that go, please. Yes. Right, wrong, good and bad, book and pod, online shots, boys and beyonds. And secondly is that, you know, we are always functioning with the trifold sequencing system. Yeah. And what is that trifold sequencing system? That is, you keep looping the same thing again and again, isn't it? Any thought which comes to us, yeah, we keep living with it for years to come. Yeah? The whole thing is that if that thought is not creating what you desire to create, then what stops us from just dropping that thought right away and choosing something else. Why? Because choice creates. If I'm choosing to overthink, obviously I'm giving that energy. So I'm creating that muck more. And if I start deviating from giving energy to things which are not creating and which I'm not desiring to recreate again and again, then what would happen? Then I will start giving energy to Y point yeah, that was X and this is Y. Now what would that create? Yeah, so everywhere that 
You know, we do not allow ourselves to choose in every 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds of our life. And then I can change my choice. Everywhere you do not allow yourself to do, to do that. Would you not like to let that go, please? Yes. Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, puck and pod, online shots, boys and beyonds. We have, you know, the pattern of disharmony always has to be addressed. And anything which starts troubling us, that means that it is a symptom which is telling us time and again, drop me if you desire to create greater, happier, more bubbling life. Yeah. So everywhere we do not allow ourselves to recognize that symptom, which is coming again and again. If you, if, you, if you get a headache time and again, do you not question yourself, why is this headache coming again and again? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Either you'll go to a doctor or you'll take some medicine or, you know, you will recognize that your body needs rest or whatever. So where, what stops us from recognizing the symptom that shows up? Yeah? And once you get to recognize that, then we can delete and destroy and create any kind of question around it. And just delete, dissipate, evaporate everything that is creating that shit in our world. For if we are capacitated to create that shit in our world, we are capacitated to create something more expansive too. Yeah? So what if we gave energy to things which would actually create more expansion in our lives and everything that brings up? Would you not like to let that go, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, online shots, spice and beyond. Yeah, Divya? Could, that, thank you so could I help you a little? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, Puneet, hi. And I'm not seeing you here. Why, why, why am I unable to see this pretty woman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why just on chat? Any which way, reading your question. I have a question moving to the new way of being in relationships. Even if the relationship is very contributory, the lack of commitment keeps pinching me. The thinking mind keeps giving, going to the past and future. What tools can I use here? So all of you can even go to the chat and actually see that. Yeah, if you desire so, just to be with the question. And I'm sure all of us are connected to this question somewhere. So Puneet is saying moving to the new way of being in relationships. And even if the relationship is contributory, the lack of commitment keeps pinching me. So I will throw a question in your world that actually, are you expecting uh, the commitment from the other side? Or are you committed to your own beautiful self? <laughs> Thanks, Malvika, for that one. I mean, I wasn't quite expecting, you know, this. And everything where, you know, everything that, you know, see, all of us, we love to be second grade citizens in our own life. Yeah. Isn't it? Because why? Once we start expecting things from anybody other than me, it could be my child, husband, spouse, partner, parents, in-laws, whatever. The whole thing is that I start giving energy to the expectation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I forget in the whole story, I just forget who am I? Yeah. I just forget that I am the infinite being and I am not the finite. I'm not this body. Yeah. I've come here on the planet to experience this life through this body. That is it. So everywhere that we choose smaller, is definitely that we are being smaller. Yeah. So each time we choose small, what would it, what stops us from just expanding and taking a very long, deep, deep, deep breath? 
Yeah. And connecting to our core. I don't know, we are, all of us are so blessed that we have been gifted with this amazing breath. Who does not ever betray us? It always tells you, I am there for you. I am there with you. I am there committed to you till the time we are best of friends. And that keeps reminding us in every nano passing moment. Yeah. So till the time I do not connect to my core, I do not get where am I and where am I choosing from? And everything that does not allow us to choose from the most expansive space of us, that is the infiniteness of us, would you now like to destroy and uncreate it all? Time yes, good. Rock and pot, good and bad, right and wrong, on high shots, boys and beyonds. And mind you, if you're your best friend, if you're pampering yourself to the core, if you're nurturing yourself to the core, if you are not expecting things from others, rather you are feeding yourself with all that you desire, all that you require. Yeah. And generally, what are we? We are love deficit, isn't it? Isn't it? All of us are love deficit. We desire, you know, I wish my mom could listen to me. I wish, you know, she could understand me. I wish my, you know, husband loves me so much that he just gets it, you know, from the frown on my face. Where am I today? Yeah. Never realizing that I have not seen myself in the mirror, just got ready and got to work and have been so busy and never connected to myself and never nurtured. Yeah. And just ate food for, you know, my, I had to fill myself up with something and I'm quite used to that. Yeah. How much time and how much nurturing time have you ever given yourself in a day? And when we do that, then we probably think that, you know, I'm quite selfish. Yeah. I'm quite selfish, you know, because people say that you really take care of your, you a little too much. And what if, you know, we were not the effect of that and rather laughed at whatever somebody said. But everywhere that you are not allowing yourself to be that, to be that committed self, would you not like to let that go, please? Right or wrong, good and bad, pocket pot, online shots, boys and beyonds. And... Uh, you know, we are so addicted to being so unkind to our own self that we do not even get to know when we become so unkind. You know, we can be so super kind to others. We'll always take care of others. We'll always listen to others. We'll give them time. We'll give them whatever is required by them. But when it comes to us, our own self, you know, we always choose unkindness. So everywhere that we are committed to being unkind to our own self and everywhere that we are not on our own, the first number on our own priority list, who would you not like to let all of that go, please? Yes, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pocket and pod, online shots, boys and beyonds. And then, uh, you know, you're talking about uh, the thinking mind keeps going to the past and to the future. What can a thinking mind do? It is a monkey mind which always keeps us rattling. And we keep saying, you know, today, the, these days in 2019 or even the years past, you know, have you, have you started listening to this phrase more and more? I'm really busy. I'm really busy. I'm really busy. Anybody you talk, you know. The children are busy, the parents are busy, the in-laws are bits busy, the neighbors are busy, everybody is busy. Yeah. Why are they busy? You know, is it that they are doing something constructive or is it that the mind is always rattling so much that, you know, we keep waiting to lie down at night. Why? Because, you know, I'm so tired. Yeah. Physically, 
I am occupied mentally. I am occupied, and when my mind is working more than what my does, my body is desiring to let you use. Yeah, obviously, I am tiring myself. Yeah, so everywhere that you give yourself your mind the leverage of doing whatever it desires to. you know to uh, modulate you to make a monkey out of you yeah will you ask that mind i've taken over the gears now yeah now now i'm on gear 6 yeah so you will have to shut up yeah i am not listening to you anymore yeah so everywhere your mind is playing games and you are giving into those games so would you not like to let that go please yes Right or wrong, good and bad, pock and pod, online shots, guys and beyonds. Yeah. So, what relationship we're talking about women and womanhood today? So, what relationship are you ready to create today with the woman that you truly be? Are you ready to woo yourself today? How do you woo a person? You know. Yeah. how would a person you know when somebody is uh, going to give that ring yeah how would that person woo yeah so would you like to woo yourself today and say wow yaar you know i am somebody so important in my life i do not have to live a compromised life and everywhere that you are giving into the thoughts feelings and emotions which are all the three things are total lies of this reality that we have picked up and then we have been living for so many years that it has become a pattern of existence on the planet everything that brings up for you would you not like to let that go please yes right or wrong good and bad pack and pod online shots guys and girls yeah puneet i could uh, you know could you could you get some some is some release some something yeah definitely malvika i mean you know yeah. it's beautiful the way you you <laughs> thrown light of awareness on my question so every time if i do it because i was thinking like what tool can i use this it was happening repeatedly yeah so every time i do that you know it's about intimacy with myself and I want to frame those golden words of yours that I am a very important person in my own life. So thank you for that one. Yeah, and actually, you know, we uh, uh, I had read somewhere which was you know yeah. committed to me, committed to life, and being me. Three things: yeah. committed to me, committed to life, and being me makes me. Whoever I am today, isn't it? So, uh, and commitment is commitment is like come what may, isn't it? When I when when we use the word commitment, that means come what may. And frankly, all of us are fearful of being, um, you know, aimed at and said that you are wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of us fear that. But the whole thing is that will. we always be in that trap of being fearful or would you like to create a life for yourself and create a breather on the planet so that each one of us who is connected so called or not even that connected you know they are blossoming and blooming and buzzing with energy yeah if all of us would be happy and elated what do you think you know would there be any judgment for our own self or for anybody else yeah no never 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 because what is it like we we uh, make the whole thing so small that you know if somebody is dark we can judge and we are always it's not judgment is not just about uh, the just the negative aspect it's about the positive too <laughs> yes Yeah, interesting. So, like, like Rinku was saying, you know, like even the positive thing. Somebody would say somebody is mature, yeah. And but look at it, you know, when we say that, 
we do not allow the other one to ever be immature yeah so they can never be themselves whatever they desire to be in those 10 seconds the whole beauty of life is i could you know i should be able to choose anything that i desire to in these 10 seconds we're just talking about these 10 seconds i can choose to be angry i can choose to be sulking i can choose to be happy i can choose to be anxious yeah i can choose to be elated and i can choose to be the horrendous bitch of the planet too but that's just for 10 seconds isn't it yeah 10 seconds i can live my life for those 10 seconds and everywhere that i have barred life from my own self yeah what do you want to like to let that go my wrong good bad 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 all night just by and beyond it's not just it's not just that when we are breathing that we are living no is it yeah yeah puneet are you there yeah i'm right here yeah okay and actually somebody yeah uh, could i uh, you know you want, would you like something more to that yes please ha ha batao please i would love to listen to it first <laughs> bolo na it will be i thought you you want to talk more about that yeah i would love to i would definitely love to and why can i see everybody who's there on the on my screen i'm wondering thank oh, you rekha for, for joining in you know i could not see you sorry for that yeah and there's some more uh uh whom i can't place where are they any which way <laughs> welcome all of you again yeah and i'm sorry i've missed on you could not say a big hi to you yeah i didn't mean anything actually didn't see you on my screen yes so uh, nalini you are you were saying something and uh, where is your question can we uh, can you put it on the chat or you know how would i see that question yeah nalini or is there anybody else who is desiring uh, you know to ask uh, a question yeah yes or no i have one more question if yeah 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 please because nobody else is saying so please take your time yeah sure uh, so now you are also like you know uh, moving more and more into awareness yeah the whole ways of uh, you know relating especially as far as money is concerned as far as the social setup is concerned okay. are developing themselves yeah mhm mm but still like somewhere you know uh, the old blueprint is still there like okay. the man is supposed to be the provider and uh, you know the woman has the certain role so it's like a lot of reshuffling i would say like too much yeah. change yeah, yeah. and uh, because somewhere you know women we women i think we judge men a lot you know yeah. just because you know a human being is a man so we think we have the every right to judge him so okay what what can make it easier the whole transition hari hu bhi banati hu getting my question okay yeah you're saying that you know uh, we have given men a set of uh, responsibilities or we think that they are the providers yeah and that is what it should be like in our life yeah isn't it saying, like, as we move into more and more awareness we're creating yeah. our own reality here so those things are dissolving yeah but somewhere the old blueprint is still there you know because there's a certain romanticism attached to it yeah yeah so completely letting go of it sometimes feels uncomfortable you know that uh, is chivalry i would say no that's fine you know anything which you are taking see change is always hallucinating isn't it yes yeah, it has it has been like lineage of people it could be our parents or their parents or you know the 10 uh, you know in hierarchy the the lineage behind us yeah so they have been functioning from there and so has this planet been isn't it now when today 
out of uh, out of you being you choosing more consciousness yeah if you are actually getting to know what is real and what is not what is actually creating and what is not so whenever we start something new obviously people are have a lot of repulsion to that too isn't it because somewhere even we are not totally aligned with the newness that is consciousness isn't it so we are making an effort and probably you know if that was 5% now it has become 7 or 10 or 15 and gradually you know we are going ahead isn't it so the whole thing is that something like how many humanoids are there on the planet just 47% of us yeah and the rest are humans yeah so things which were prevalent and they are still prevalent obviously why why does gary and then why do they talk about you know that more consciousness uh, uh, needs to come and even people in classes it's not just uh, access it could be any other modality to people have been choosing they are choosing more and more yeah why because they have been sick and tired of all that was here that was somewhere not uh, you know aligning with what they knew was possible so that is why they wanted to shift change everything yeah mm -hmm. but the whole thing is that we have to be in allowance of others who do not have this point of view too okay yeah because they are existing yeah and like you know gary beautifully puts it you know we have to be just like the rock in the stream yeah knowing knowing that wherever they are you know i do not have to resist and react to them i do not have to be there yeah and at the same time knowing yourself that whatever that you know is true and that is real and that is creating for you and that is definitely expanding everything on the planet yeah mm -hmm. so the more you are confident the more you are congruent to whatever you know yeah the lesser tug of war you will experience outside yes yeah and if we say that you know 1% changes uh, a point of view and 350000 people are affected that is not a joke yeah if one person in the family is choosing consciousness i think you know it permeates in the lives of other people also whoever they are even even the help that you have at home you know not just talking about people who are blood related and you know uh, even even the help at home why because that is what you are vibrating so everywhere that we are choosing big yeah and we are not aligned to that aligned to that is that we are still doubting it we are still not trusting it to the fullest you know god knows if it's right or wrong yeah yes exactly yeah so how is it you know if i think i'm going to i'm going to uh, you know i'm driving to delhi and you know every now and then i'm turning back am i ever going to reach delhi mm. yeah <laughs> so so what energy space and consciousness can we and our bodies be to always be congruent <laughs> to the real and nothing more and everything that brings up for you would you not like to let that go please yes. right or wrong good and bad book and board online shots boys and beyonds yeah so everywhere that you have kept the consciousness at a comfortable distance from you yeah that yeah yeah i am i i i am getting conscious yeah but still i'll keep you at a comfortable distance yeah i never allow you to be me yeah i and i'll never allow myself to be you so everywhere that you have separated unknowingly yeah everywhere that there is a gap between the cup and the lip would you know like to drop that please yes and please and back and forth good and bad right and wrong online chats boys and beyonds you see i have to be always aligned to the ask i always have to we are the catalyst of change we are the catalyst of change but am i just saying it in words or am i actually believing it and if i'm believing it am i ready to take some steps towards it 
if I'm ready to take the steps towards it, am I in allowance of people judging me for all that I do and be? Yeah, and can I just not, you know, there can be a trigger there. There can be a trigger there. Yeah. And everywhere that I do not allow people to judge me for whoever I am, or there can be people who just hate you for whatever you are trying to talk. And what if we never had to actually pound on them? We do not have to shroud on their thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Yeah. And always be the invitation of who we truly be. So if there is an energy of, uh, if there is a magnetic energy, then would uh, people not be by my side? They would not like to ape me. They would not like to do whatever and just ask me, you know, how come that even after going through so much in life that you could, I still see you so easy, so breezy. Yeah. And everywhere that we do not allow ourselves to be that invitation, that invitation to womanhood. And you know, I was so wishing that there were some men on this call because we are just not talking about women here. We are talking about consciousness in totality. And they make a very important part of us. And so are we, so important part of the men on the planet. Are you in this minute? Because how can we be complete if we, if we are against them? And how could they be complete if they separate women from their lives? Yeah. So what energy space and consciousness can we and our bodies be to never step into the energy of separation? Come what may. People negate you, they degrade you or whatever. Knowing whatever you are, you are somebody who has come on the planet and universe never creates trash of any kind. So everywhere men and women have been separated. Yeah. Always talking from, you know, that is the other sex. Yeah. Yeah, I say, and Gary says, you know, Gary says so specifically, is it just the other sex or, you know, we never talk about the other sex, we talk about it is the opposite sex. Yeah, so if there were no polarities, then what would our life be like? How would women outshine, outcreate, out capacitate their capacities that they are here on the planet for. Would they be complementing energies here? Would there be much more joy? Would there be much more working in unison? Would there be would there be total elation of sorts? And would that joy be undefinable? everywhere that we are not committed to creating that inseparable planet. Would you not like to let that go, please? Yes, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, muck and board, online shots, wise and beyonds. <laughs> so, women, what more would you desire out of this call today? Yes, it's a last burning desire question. <laughs> yes, anything more for today? Yeah? Any which way, you know, this call is coming to a closure and, you know, I'll be having a call on the 23rd of March. That's a tentative date. It could be a day you know, plus, minus, and we're coming with a call called Intimacy with Bodies. And anybody who would like to sign up, we would be sharing that link right here. It is going to be an online call, definitely on Zoom. 
and we would love each one of you to uh, drop in here and Tejal, thank you so much for sharing that uh, link here. And for today, if you, you know, if you desire to be on that call, we have kept that call for uh, 1100 for, especially for those who are participating in this call. And uh, it is uh, open for 24 hours. And we would love, uh, you know, I would love to have all of you here and anybody else who would desire to have intimacy with their bodies or they are having any issues with their bodies, we can definitely get together and clear them off and create a happy world with our happy bodies. Yeah? So coming to an end on this call, thank you so much for joining in. A very, very happy Women's Day. I shall be wishing you all from there, that is Rome, and, uh, and see you soon on the 23rd of March, right here on this screen. Bye and love you all. Thank you so much, Margita. It's always Thank a pleasure to hear your beautiful voice. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I thanks to Access. Uh, you know that <clears throat> today, you know, I can receive uh, compliments. Yeah, and uh, thank you so much, Paneet, for your amazing questions. And each one of you, even if you did not ask, you know, your energy was so, so, so complimenting. It was so contributing. And I think it made my day. Yeah. Love you all and bye. Good night. <laughs>